Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gary Griggs Beach War in the East. So, we have a very interesting situation here, and I think I know how to deal with this. So, we managed to build up our fuel so we can, we can actually encircle Piskov. I would be tempted to try further south. Actually, I'm just going to hide this taskbar. I do apologize. There we go. Yes. So I would be tempted to try something like this, which, um, if I had some forces, well, actually, hmm. Yeah, we just can't move that far. If we could have, it would have been possibly very attractive, but nonetheless, we're going to do something else. So I have this infantry division over here. The 11th infantry division will open the way for us. So we're going to attack the airborne brigade here. Only 8,736 men. They will, of course, retreat due to the fact of our combat strength. And now the... <laughs> wow. The way to Piskov is open. Here we go. So you can see here, we can really move now. We can really move. I think what's going to be the best idea is to encircle Piskov. So we can encircle these forces here. And, uh, yeah, pretty much deal with the issues that we've had here. So I'm going to move this uh, motorized to the north. There we go, we managed to score 13 tons of fuel as well from that airfield. We'll carry on moving down here. Make sure we get a nice encirclement. Then we have forces here. So what I could do is... Let's see. We have an infantry division here. They could move here that have seven left. So I'll move them there. I have another infantry division here, so I'll move you up. And, um, a little bit more infantry down here. Yes, okay. We'll move you. So I'd have six over here. That might be enough. Do we have anything else? Any other infantry nearby? Not that close, okay. What are we facing here? So it's an airborne brigade and a tank division. Um... I'm going to get the other infantry division here, so we have these guys, move them there, and right, so we have three different uh, <laughs> commands here, that's impressive. We'll take you and we'll give you, we could go for the Jagdpanzers, and we'll go for the Jagdpanzers, that should give us some more effectiveness against the enemy's tanks, so we'll go for a full attack here and open the way up. There we go. They have been routed and shattered. That's awesome. That's another 13,000 men. It's completely gone. Right then. So we're completely open here to encircle Piskov. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Right. So we'll start moving some of these guys first. Unfortunately, we can't move them by a rail. Yeah, that's a shame. But we can move them quite far, so I'll move them all the way up to here. There we go. They'll be in uh, range of their commands as well now. We'll move these guys up to. I'll move them up this way, and then at least we get all that supply and all that goodies. That's going to be great for us. Okay. Now I'm going to do some reconnaissance before we go any further. Now, sadly, I can't do any reconnaissance here, but, uh, oh well. Rather, we'll fly some reconnaissance aircraft out here. There we go, that revealed a few more of the enemy. Ah, we have the Router Division over here. Yes, we do have a hell of a lot of men down here. I'm thinking what we're going to do is take the Panzer Division here. We have... yeah, okay. So I'm going to take that Panzer Corps, or Panzer Gruppen, and I'm going to move it all the way down south to support the Romanians' advance. I think that's going to be the best bet. I have a really bad feeling about moving into here. Sure, there's loads of airfields, and it would be really good to get rid of all these planes. But that's the death trap. You can see here there's only one hex, and it's surrounded. That would be a complete death trap. And of course, we do have the fins available for movement. I am really looking forward to this. So, we'll continue our moves over here then, shall we? So we could move you up, you've only got 47% fuel, you've only got 18. So I'll hold that line with these guys then, I suppose. They have about uh, 44, so not too bad at all. Um, 
we'll move here. That'll move that airfield away. Widen this corridor. There we go. Rightio. So the rest of the divisions are down here for that combat group. So I'm going to move them all the way up. Could move them there, but there's not really much point. So I'll move them up here. Keep them together. It just helps with the organization and supply, really. Hmm. They're actually fairly well provisioned. Not enough to actually get through, but I'll move them here on top of the infantry. So they'll be available the fall in turn for any breakthroughs that we manage to pull about. Move that command up here. There we go. And... They can be moved here. Fantastic. We have our army group self. No, sorry, our army group center command here. Hmm. What do we have here then? Right. Okay. Where do we have rails? We have rails going that way, and we have rails going that way. So, if I could move you over here, would that help out the situation? Almost. Right, there we go, that's good. At least they're close to Riga. And uh, much closer to supply, so that should be more beneficial for us in the long run. Okay. So, we have an encirclement of Piskov. Well, almost, we need to deal with this. So, should we move these guys up here? That's probably a good idea. So, we'd have 14 here. 4, 6. Yeah. If I went for the further out, so that'd probably work better. But we'll move to here first, just to see how we do. Good, that's moved away. Okay. Now, I could save my fuel, actually. So, I think I'm going to save fuel and stay here. Well, actually, I'm going to break up the division. We'll move one over here. And... One there, why not? Could move you up about there, perhaps. But we'll keep it about here, then. We'll try and maintain that fuel. But it's great, we finally have our encirclement to piss off. So, that's uh, Rifle Division, Tank Division. Motorized Rifle. Board regiments and another rifle division. Airborne. Probably rifles and another armor division. But still, we have the city of Piskov, which is a very nice city. Due to the fact that the rail lines run up here, it's quite an important rail hub too. Which is something that we really need to take into account. Right then. Where's my rails? We have my rails over here then, so we'll move these guys. So we can convert the rails at Riga. Hmm. Now we could go up this way, I could go up that way. I'll go up this way. I think that's a smarter idea. Right, there we go. Then I'll probably start heading towards Riga. Or possibly Talonin in the north. Hmm. I'll keep going north. There we go. So then what we can do is head towards Talon in here, or we could head towards uh, Piskov. So if I went that way, yeah, or I could go up that way, we'll see. Okay. But this is looking very nice. I mean, if we can get around here and really exploit this, make that a little bit easier to see. Yeah, we could really have a big exploit here. I'm going to move the infantry in the south. I'm going to keep the panzers back so they can refuel. And then in the following turns, they'll be able to move a hell of a lot further. And then hopefully, if I can open this gap, enough for me to move through, I'll be able to get around to Smolensk and to the city over here. It <coughs> should, be, should be very nice. I've identified another important city as well that we could try to get. And that would be Kaladin. There's 57,000 supplies here. So that would be very nice. A little bit of fuel, but still. We also have Novogorod over here with 4,286 fuel, a very nice city to have. There's fuel in these port cities too, 5,100 and 5,000 supply. We'll go over here. We have a little supply and a little fuel, well about 1,000 supply, so not bad at all. City here, 3,000, 3,000, so not bad at all, not bad. 
good for us to take. Right then. So what do I want to do? I've encircled Piskov. So should I send the rest of the forces out so we can try and uh, get around here? I feel like we could probably make it to that city. Hmm, actually not. I suppose that's because of this zone of control here. Right. I should probably move the infantry up. Hmm. So move the infantry up to here. Move them there. Free up the motorized, basically. Move them there. Okay. Ideally, you'd be better off up here, where your command is. So I'll move you back up there. Okay. Form up that division. There we go. Now if I could move that. Though that would be very difficult. That's like three divisions. Actually, in all honesty, I could try and surround these divisions. I imagine somebody has that movement. Yeah, they could very well do that. So... We could almost make it to the city over here. I reckon we'll be able to take the city if there's nothing in there. Ha. Huh. Not far enough. Nah. Close, though. What I was thinking is if we could get enough movement, I could try get there. Actually. 67 fuel. No, they could only make it to there. Hmm. But if I can encircle those guys, that's another three divisions cut off. So that could be very, very nice. Right, actually, what are we going to do then? Oh, we can't move them far enough. Mm, fair enough. Oh, we have another division over here. I could move those guys over there. Or I could move them here, then have them ready for a breakthrough. But this is very bad terrain. So we'll have them there. Okay. Do we have any more reconnaissance ability? No. Not this far off. Is it worthwhile to go for any airfields? There's a few airfields here. There's a lot over there. Let's look how many airfields. So I guess we'll try and run the... Airfield bombing campaign. See how lucky we- bloody hell! 23 bombers lost? Holy shit, that was a bad idea. Yeah. That's a lot of air power here. Hmm. Not quite as effective as it once was, is it? Eh, oh well. Okay. So you guys can move, bloody hell, these guys can move pretty damn far. Right. Hmm. I'll move these guys here. No movement there. Okay. So that guy has most of the fuel. Um, we'll move over here then. Okay, so they're now cut off. Yeah, they're in a bad situation. Can't move anywhere else. Hmm. 
I feel if I move over here, I'll have a good chance of trying to cut off these forces next turn. However, I'm going to burn a lot of fuel gain over here. So, what might seem like a good opportunity probably wouldn't be very good. Because of the supply problem. So... Have these guys over here. Have them move up over there. Um, who should I assign them to? These are very good infantry divisions too. So you have some armoured cars. Yeah. You have 650mm guns. Impressive. Very impressive. 36 105s. 12 150s. 81mm mortars. 50mm mortars. 75mm infantry gun. Hmm. So I feel the rest of these forces should start moving up this way, perhaps. I'd kind of like to secure Talonin. And, um... Possibly this turn on Ness. Well, it depends. I need to try and take these ports here. And ensure that no supply is sent to Leningrad. I also need the port over here. The uh, port of Hanko. Then... Uh, if we can do it, try and isolate all these ports, then possibly we could starve Leningrad of supply. Well, the forces in Leningrad would have supply, but the forces on the outside would not. So that could mean life or death, really, for the forces around. Hmm. I mean, I could head all the way up here, then possibly cut off these forces. I think we'll advance these infantry divisions and we'll see how we do, actually. We'll see what's up here. Do we have enough reach to get a Talon in? Uh, no. Close, though. Close. I'll move you over here, then. Right. They can move over here. Move you about there. Okay. Uh, Christ. That's the worst one. Okay. They should be fine. I can move them back up over here after. Ah. Uh, bugger. I'm going to move this way. I need to keep this part of the force supplied. Right, they can stay by the HQ. You command these guys. Who do you command? Ah, you command that. And those guys, of course, but ah, well, we can move them up later. Right, there we go. Oh, that's not very good. A little bit more. Ah. Uh. Almost. Right, now we're good. Hmm. Keeps them happy. Right, there we go. So I still have forces to move here. It's just how bold I want to be, because I can't complete an encirclement here. It's close, but I can't do it. So I might be better off moving into about here, then, like, saving fuel for the following turn. Yeah, I think that's a wise idea. We'll save that fuel, then.
Maybe over here. Okay, you command those guys. Hmm. Okay, everybody seems fine now. That's okay. I'd like to get some infantry up over here, so what I'll do then is... I'll have these divisions assigned to the... Right, LVII. Assign, oh. Sorry. LVI, LVII. There we go. Kind of wanted it to do with everyone, but okay. Lovely. So now who is your command? Ah, you. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Ooh. Actually, oh good, we're fine there. That's good then. Okay, so I'll have some more infantry divisions in the fall wind turn. That'd be good, well, very good for us. We have these guys here to try and hold the line. But I have a good feeling about this. I really think that we might possibly be able to encircle this part of the Russian army. And possibly even get the rest of this center force. That would be incredible. Right then. So I could head towards Mugalev. And we could cross the Denepa River. Um, or I could head towards Gumil. If I head towards Gumil. Yeah, there's not really that much. There's some heavy industry and armaments, but nothing too... Wow. So I can... I'll try... Well, I don't know. It's good train that way. Hmm. I think we just got to cross the Denipa. But if I head for Muglev, I can actually get a city there to hold on to. There's some resources there, some supply and a little fuel. You could almost do it. Do we have any motorized or anything like that, just so we can seize the city? We do. They could make it. Yeah, if I move them there, they're not that far from Minsk and they're not that far from fuel. So I'll move them over here to Mugalov. Yellow population is evacuated. Yes, yeah, so you can see there's forces over here. So I'll move two motorized over here then. That will be sufficient to hold the city. Where's your command? Are you part of the same? Right. Is this your command then? God damn it, you command the panzers too? Bloody hell. Hmm. These guys have a lot of fuel, but I'll move them up here. They'll be ready to move out next turn. They're still close to Minsk and uh, the rest of the supply lines, so that's pretty good for us. Yeah, the rail's pretty much um, here. So keep on moving that up closer to Minsk. We do have a lot of vehicles in our supply pool this time, so that's good for us. Like last turn we had 79,000. This turn we have 114. No, not enough. Shite. Oh well. Four Hex is closer to Minsk. So we're not far from the rail line, so that's really handy. Really, really handy. Looking very good. So if we can punch through down in the south here. We've already punched through in the north, so we can take out these forces in the following turns. Then we can move on to... Uh, I don't know. If I swing north... We waste an opportunity of trying to encircle this entire army here. And I think that is the major overriding objective. If I can bite it in half and try and take this here, then that would be fantastic. So. Possibly. 
moving forces up here would still have an still have something. Hmm. Interesting. I could push green towards that, but I think that'd be a bit of a waste. It's, um, it'd be good, but I don't know what's in the center here. And without proper intelligence, it's a bit of a waste of time to send all those forces, all those men, without knowing. So we'll stick to the south. Right then. Hmm. Move up over here. There's an infantry division. Infantry division. Right, we'll stack up on this side. Next to the drut. Right, another infantry division over here. So what we might have to do then is punch across the river. That's easier said than done, however. But we do have a lot of power here. Okay. There's a lot of men in this. There we go. So that's a lot of power right there. That is a lot of men. I mean, each division having 16 odd thousand men. And there's quite a few divisions there. So, depending how the line moves next turn, we might be able to carry on swinging around here to Spolensk. And then in the north, we could try and uh, push south of our panzers. And maybe in a turn or two, connect these lines or possibly surround this force, which is probably likely. Uh, this part of the line stayed in place while this part of the line fell back even further. But that's good, we've got a lot of movement on. And the best case scenario is uh, the center line collapses and we're able to drive panzers all the way down here and therefore cutting off this entire army from supply. Obviously they would have supply from the coast, but my god, that would be something. That would be something. They'd have to redeploy. And if they redeploy to face an army coming from the north while they're dealing with an army over here, they're going to be in trouble. Right, so we have a cavalry division over here, which isn't the best thing ever. So I'm going to um, double stack it with an infantry division. Now... Right, in the swamps we can't move far. But I'll move back to about here, and then at least we can keep these uh, guys in supply. I mean, we do have these rails. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, my chest is still pretty bad. But yes, uh, we do have these rails being converted over here. So, if we convert this line and continue to push in the center, we'd come out over here by Gummel. And that'd allow us to kind of encircle these guys and cut them off from supply. Okay. So we have these green forces over here. I guess we'll push over here then. Okay, there we go. Combine that division. Get them over there. Yes, yeah, so I think we'll have enough power to punch through. If we could punch through that division there, perhaps. It depends. If I can get um, around, I'll have a good chance. Hmm. Let's see. We've already taken most of the supplies from the city. 